We are in a war that is uh, as much a cultural struggle uh, as it is a military struggle that uh, demands subtlety. Can you take guys like the Marines and say, we want you to be kinder and gentler and culturally aware. What do you do with a rifle? You shoot somebody else. We wanted to show that we were good people and we were here to, to help. Wars are not fought on battlefields anymore. The United States is grappling with it in Iraq and Afghanistan as it did in Vietnam. They're embracing a type of thinking about war, counterinsurgency warfare, that the Army didn't want to get into at all. There's a new solution that, uh, out there that we have to actively seek. All our cultural and intellectual sinew will be required in this battle. Culture is not like Nescafe. It's not something you can just add water and stir. The version of culture that they have in mind is such that they will find it's fool's gold. I want to know why they hate us. Well, the Pentagon has a new strategy in Iraq and Afghanistan. An experimental $40 million program called the Human Terrain System has begun enlisting recruits of a different kind to win the battle of hearts and minds. They have graduate degrees in anthropology and serve as cultural advisors to the U.S. military. He felt that, why am I different than any other young American that is serving? He sort of spoke of it as a desk job. This is an activity that takes a tremendous amount of empathy. I have this knowledge that they don't have. I can help. Michael said he never served in the military. And I, I looked at him and told him, I said, what do you think you're doing now? That is a very seductive idea, that you would be able to help in a situation of crisis. Help what? Help whom to do what? He was always doing something greater than himself. Why this as opposed to the other things? That's the difficult question we're having to answer. Sir, 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 we have one urgent surgical, one urgent, three KIA. Roger, good copy. Six out.